the first step was that uh, I, um, I meet uh, some guys that play in a band called Zeus. They play the rock, not the metal, rock. And uh, I joined them. And uh, two of these guys were uh, Terence Soler and Adriano, Adriano D'Arcanto, the two uh, former, former uh, of, the, of the band within, within me. Uh, but uh, at the beginning, they, uh, they don't want uh, to, to play metal music, but uh, after uh, <laughs> make them listen to uh, some of uh, my influences, uh, they start to... Uh, we start to, to, to join our uh, influences and uh, they prefer uh, more hard, hard rock music, uh, no? uh, Bon Jovi, uh, White Lion, uh, stuff like that. And uh, mm, I prefer uh, Queen's Rike, Fates Warning, oh. and something uh, more uh, uh, aggressive like uh, Annihilator, all the uh, technical uh, bands uh, of, the, uh, of this era. Uh, so we, we, in the months, <laughs> we join our uh, ideas and uh, the, the musical, uh, the first musical step started. Uh, then uh, we, we make a demo tape, Reflection of Sadness, and uh, it was at the, uh, shows the, the, the first roots of this music, and uh, then continues. Uh, Complete, we see completing, completing, complete. Getting up to. Si, yes, yes. Uh, getting up to what is now. And uh, after what, what, some, what it what it was back then and uh, uh, evolving until what is now. Yes, yes, yes. But before joining uh, Oleg, uh, we make a, a two song uh, demo tape uh, with a very good production and uh, send uh, to labels, uh, magazines, mm -hmm. and uh, we get a, a lot of attentions because um, it was a, a very good production for the, for the period. So uh, I remember uh, Noise Records, uh, LMP, Limp Music, some Italian labels were very interested to us. Uh, and when we start to, to get some uh, good, good uh, proposal. Uh, proposal. proposal of a deal, uh, we complete the band with uh, Oleg and Martin Keane, and it was the, the first, uh, <laughs> uh, the first line Eldritch lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we start uh, to, to make records, Seas of Rage, then Quake, uh, Tour, uh, and uh, so on. best period was the, the beginning because there was a lot of uh, si dice, uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, we had a dream a no? uh, big dream uh, big uh, si dice, aspettative, uh, uh, ambitions. Ambitions. Mm -hmm. ambitions and uh, the best was uh, during the um, 1997 after the earthquake uh, recordings and we make our first European tour. Uh, was a difficult uh, moment, but also a good moment, because it was a, a, a very first uh, impact uh, on stage uh, with uh, a real uh, audience. Uh, so we were not uh, so ready for, for that, but uh, we grow in the, in the days and uh, we, we were living a, a very good uh, moment because uh, fans uh, uh, were you know, engaging, engaging, were engaging, increasing, and increasing, uh, yes. And uh, after the El Nino records, we start to, to have some problems uh, and uh, we make a, a bad choice because uh, we decided to leave the inside out music. Mm. Uh, thinking to, to get something better and 
and the, the, the results was so and so. But uh, after we start to, after some lineup changes, we, uh, we started to make the, the right uh, way, uh, leaving uh, other uh, good moments, interesting moments. We started to, 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 to be, how do you say, credible? Credible. Credible. That, that, that's a little difficult, actually. <laughs> but, um, so, new, new, new good you, moments, you, you, um, something like that. Something yes, like yes, that, yes. yeah. We um, started to, to make, uh, again, some good festival, uh, tour. Uh, no? In, uh, it was 13 years ago, uh, we played also in Greece <laughs> with Firewind. Uh, it was an incredible experience, it was another very, very good period for us. Uh, and then uh, we make other records, we change the uh, label, an Italian label uh, that uh, is working very good for us. Um, our sound is better now because uh, uh, we have a new, since uh, Gaia's legacy and testing the tears, so we have a new uh, way to, to product our, our music. Uh, we re record the, the recording parts. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we we pre-product our songs, our songs on our own, so we have a better idea of what will be yes. the final result. That, of course, is leading us to uh, better and also easier kind of production for the new songs. But uh, we have a, a guy that you know, surely, he's uh, Simone Mularoni from the GM, the, the, that mix, mix and master our, our records since uh, Testing the Tears until now. Uh, we have uh, also Marco, who is now with us uh, today uh, for, as a sound engineer for uh, live shows. And also a little bit for the studio because uh, the, the last record, the drum uh, drums is recorded uh, in uh, his studio. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> to say because uh, uh, the music of Eldritch has always been difficult to uh, categorize as one, only one genre. You can say it's prog, you can say it's uh, kind of thrashy, kind of powery sometimes. So we can say eventually, I can say because I worked only on the last album actually, but I can say that it's that there is a strong prog um, a strong prog element in the music, but actually the music itself is just a result of all the evolution that the band has had in the last 30 years at this point. So the best way to describe it is just to listen to it. Let's say kind of prog. If you like prog, you will like Eldritch. If you like, uh, even if you like thrash metal, you can like Eldritch. If you like a lot of things, you can like Eldritch. The thing is, if you want to know if you like Eldritch, listen to Eldritch yeah. and then you will know. That will be the, I, I think, the only possible answer to that.
actually in the first first uh, three albums most of the lyrics has been written by Eugene and Oleg and something also from Martin, uh, Martin uh, has wrote some lyrics after that actually it was mostly uh, work from Terence was Terence Holler that in the in the last eight or nine records has wrote almost all the lyrics uh, and I, I'm speaking for him of course but uh, he would say that he is inspired by his life his problems what is living in day by day that will be the main but kind of inspiration for his lyrics at least um, more than uh, his life uh, is something that is a uh, um, Come si dice? Um, the life of everyone, no? Problems. Yeah, his vision uh, of life, yeah, of yeah, yeah, life, yeah. His vision of life. And everyone can uh, feel the same can sensations, relate. feelings uh, in these words, no? This is the, I think, I think the right way. That will be the target, let's say. Yeah. <laughs> pandemic for us uh, of course it, it, it has been a tough period like for everyone but uh, I can say and I can speak I think also for him and for every other guy in the band it gave us the opportunity to create music without the pressure of time we don't have to go uh, on a, re a rehearsal room to play a live gig we don't have to do we can only produce music and in fact eels the last album has been produced like this we had the time to write we have the time to think on the songs uh, make all the adjustment possible uh, so it was um, in a way it was a very creative moment the pandemic along with all the difficulties that there were we will see what is going from now on because uh, here the situation is changing day by day or oh, now on top of the pandemic there is war there is everything we have no idea what that, what that will bring us and uh, we will try to turn the situation up to our advantage like we did with the pandemic uh, creating the basically the best album that we can produce <laughs> It uh, was a uh, uh, thing that uh, make uh, some uh, a little earthquake, no earthquake. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we are trying to to go on, no edition, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe we we we'll try to <clears throat> to put something a little bit different. But uh, we want something new but also someone who, uh, who can, deliver can, the, can uh, sing the, also the, the old songs 
because uh, uh, the live shows uh, we don't play too much in the, in the last uh, years uh, for pandemic uh, for uh, other things but uh, live shows are uh, an important element for for us no so it's, it's good for us to have someone who sing in good way uh, also the the old songs but uh, looking at the future uh, we want uh, something a little bit different not too much but a little bit different uh, i think uh, it's stupid uh, to try to uh, to find uh, to uh, emulate, uh, emulate uh, uh, terms because everyone i think the voice is a very personal instrument and uh, it's impossible to be uh, exactly, the, the, exactly the same that another singer there are singers that are very similar no uh, similar school uh, especially in the power metal uh, in inside the musician genre inside the genre, the genre. Uh, but uh, everyone have a different uh, kind of tone no so uh, it's good i think it's good to try to change something uh, that's all Actually, if if, uh, uh, if, I, if I can uh, add ju just one thing, the the approach that we have when we were facing this situation, when we were already have some gigs uh, to play like this one today and another one uh, back in in Italy, was also to <coughs> try to find another singer as well that is emulating Terence but a singer that eventually has a distinctive voice because the, yes. the right. very good thing regarding Terence was that his voice was really signature, it was his voice, you can recognize him. Mm. Yes. So we were trying not to find the same voice, but to find a voice that can be, yes. that, that is recognizable. And uh, for now we, we have, um, this guy, which is a friend of mine, I, I've known him for a lot of years, I know he's a great singer. He's um, doing this gigs for us, then we will decide uh, if he will stay or not, if it's a good fit for us. Uh, we, d we don't know yet, simply. And uh, by the way, for sure, he's delivering the songs. He can sing what uh, the, um, the old repertoire and he has a distinctive voice. So um, that, that's why we choose him in order to make these gigs and then we will see for the future. So this is not a, a, a final decision? Uh, not yet, not for yet. A, for a new record, uh, is the, you, are not, you have not decided yet that your next record will be... Not yet. In fact, uh, also when we announce on, on our social media pages, on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, that there was Marco, uh, the singer for tonight. We only said it is the singer for this summer's gigs. Then we will see. Um, because uh, just to give, the, give to Terence the importance that he has had on this band for all these years, uh, it would be um, almost unrespectful to choose a singer like this. We have to think about it very carefully. We have yes. to be sure that it's Select, a good fit. Very selective. Yeah, we have to be selective and we have to be completely sure that it's a good fit for us. He's doing a great job, that's for sure, because he has done a great job. For Even for the type of voice that he has, he, he's a little different. He has a kind of a lower tone compared to uh, Terence, uh, he is able to do the the songs anyway. He has worked on that. He has made a huge work. We are very grateful for that. Then we will decide.
we started to uh, to write the, the new songs um, when Terence uh, was with us. <laughs> so we, we think that the songs uh, with um, thinking about his voice. Then after the the decision, uh, something uh, is, it will change. For now, we stop the the songwriting for uh, be concentrate on the live shows. From uh, the next week, <laughs> we try to to think about our future and then uh, about uh, our songs. For for me, I, I had some ideas. I know uh, he had ideas too. Also, Oleg. Uh, we after uh, decide uh, who will be the new singer. We start again to work uh, on the songs uh, and, uh, and write the new new songs. Well, the the thing that we can say is now it's a transitional period, so it's also difficult to us to. It's difficult for us as well to understand what will will be our future, how we'll work it out, because we need anyway. Even if Marco will be the new singer. We will have a period where we will, how can I say, we will have to fit our music also on his voice. So it's difficult now to give an exact impression of what the future of this band will be. There will be a future, that's the only thing that we know, because we are all engaged in the project and we want to go on. We need to understand how we can work it out the best way for the for the good of the band. That will be, but uh, we are going on. We are uh, absolutely convinced that we want to write new songs. We have some material. We have to see what will work, what will not. We need to uh, get on also on the arrangements. Uh, that that it's uh, another part. I mean, producing an album is not a it's not an easy task. In general so now it's transitional and, and it's difficult to us even to propel ourselves to the future we know that we want to do it and we will see what the future will get back to us Sorry for my English, but I'm happy because I start again to talk, uh, to speak in English. Uh, I need uh, to talk for uh, the practice, practice, my right. practice. <laughs> Thanks to all the fans that will be here tonight. We are um, very grateful to every one of you, to everyone that is just coming to say hi. We appreciate every and each one of you. And uh, I hope uh, to see the same guys I saw uh, a lot of years ago when we play here in uh, Greece, Thessaloniki, in Athens. And uh, I hope to see the same reaction. Okay. Thank you so much. Soundcheck.network The new online magazine